Hey everyone, welcome to my first video. In this tutorial, I will show you how to do this basket weave braid. I hope you like it. If you want to see more hairstyles and tutorials, you can follow me on Instagram and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos. So let's start. First of all, for all my hairstyles, I use synthetic wigs. Depending on your hair, you can use thinner strands or less strands. That doesn't matter. First, I start by brushing the hair and then I also spray some water on it to make it a little bit easier to braid. We're gonna start by doing a waterfall scissor braid. Now you want to part off a small strand of hair from the front of your head. Next, you want to split it into two even strands. Then take your finger and poke a hole through the bottom strand. Grab the upper strand and pull it through like this. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and take a small strand of hair from the top of your head and put it in between those two strands and then just let it fall. Now you again want to create a hole in the bottom strand, grab the upper strand and pull it through. Now repeat this step all the way to the back of your head. Part off a small strand of hair from the top of your head. Put it in between the two strands. Let it fall. Poke a hole through the bottom strand with your fingers and grab the upper strand through. Repeat this step until you reach the back of your head. It doesn't matter how many strands you take. Just see what works for you. I already have some tutorials for this technique on my IGTV, so if you have problems, feel free to check it out. Once you reach the back of your head, you can braid it a little bit and then clip it in place. Now you want to do the same thing on the other side. Once again, the amount of strands doesn't matter, but make sure the amount is even on both sides. When you reach the back, you can remove the clip from the first braid and take the first braid in between your new scissor waterfall braid and then just continue like you would normally. Now hold it tight and secure it with a clip. Now you want to do this two more times on each side.
and this is how it should look like. Now you need to find the first scissor waterfall braid from the opposite side. This can be a little bit tricky. If you want, you can spray some water on it to make it easier to braid. Once again, you need to braid a scissor waterfall braid, but this time you're gonna use the waterfall strands from the upper braids, like this. Now do it for all the strands. When you're done, just take a clip and secure it, and now you want to do the same thing on the other side. Repeat this for all the braids. Once I'm done, I just spray a little bit of hairspray on it, but it's not necessary. Now we come to my favorite part, the basket weaving. Take the first piece on the right and put it over the first one on the left. Now take your strand and put it underneath the second one on the left. Put it over the third one and then underneath the next one. So basically the pattern is over, under, over, under. Repeat this pattern until there are no strands left. Take a big clip and clip it in place. Now take the second piece of hair on the right and put it underneath the first one on the left. Now over the next strand and under the next one. So you're gonna do the opposite of what you did before. Take your next strand and put it over, under, and over. So you're gonna do the same thing that you did for the first strand.
When I'm done, I like to pull it a little bit in shape and then clip it in the middle. Now remove the clip from one side and part of a small strand of hair from the front. Take this strand and put it underneath the ends of the scissor waterfall braids. Now do a normal scissor waterfall braid and use the strands of your basket weave braid. and then you can just secure it with a clip. Now do this three times on each side. Now you want to do the same thing as you did at the top. So look for the first scissor waterfall braid of the opposite side and then just braid it normally. Then you can just clip it in place and do it for the rest of the scissor waterfall braids. When you're done, you can just pull it a little bit in shape and secure the ends with an elastic. And this is what the hairstyle looks like. I really hope this tutorial helped you and you enjoyed watching it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more.